After elephants and rhinos, the hippopotamus is the next largest land mammal. It is also the largest extant land artiodactyl. Despite their physical resemblance to pigs and other terrestrial even toadungulates, the closest living relatives of the hippopotamids are cetaceans, from which they diverged about 55 million years ago. Hippos are recognizable for their barrel-shaped torsos, wide opening mouths with large canine tusks, nearly hairless bodies, pillar-like legs, and large size. Adults average 1,500 kg for bulls and 1,300 kg for cows. Despite its stocky shape and short legs, it is capable of running 30 km h over short distances. Hippos inhabit rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps. Territorial bulls each preside over a stretch of water and a group of 5 to 30 cows and calves. Mating and birth both occur in the water. During the day, hippos remain cool by staying in water or mud, emerging at dusk to graze on grasses. While hippos rest near each other in the water, Grazing is a solitary activity and hippos typically do not display territorial behavior on land. Hippos are among the most dangerous animals in the world due to their aggressive and unpredictable nature. They are threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat and ivory. The modern hippopotamus and the pygmy hippopotamus are the only living members of the family hippopotamidae. Some taxonomists place hippos and anthracithers in the superfamily Anthracitheroidea. Hippopotamidae are classified along with other even toed ungulates in the order Artiodactyla. The most recent theory of the origins of hippopotamidae suggests hippos and whales shared a common semi-aquatic ancestor that branched off from other artiodactyls around 60 million years ago. This hypothesized ancestral group likely split into two branches again around 54 million years ago. It is challenging to study the interaction of bulls and cows, because hippos are not sexually dimorphic, so cows and young bulls are almost indistinguishable in the field. Hippopods fluctuate, but can contain over 100 hippos. Although they lie close together, adults develop almost no social bonds. Males establish territories in water but not land, and these may range 250, 500 meters in lakes and 50, 100 meters in rivers. Territories are abandoned when the water dries up. The bull has breeding access to all the cows in his territory. Younger bachelors are allowed to stay as long as they defer to him. A younger male may challenge the old bull for control of the territory. Within the pods, the hippos tend to segregate by sex and status. Bachelor males lounge near other bachelors, females with other females, and the territorial male is on his own. When hippos emerge from the water to graze, they do so individually. Hippos engage in muck spreading, which involves defecating while spinning their tails to distribute the feces over a greater area. Muck spreading occurs both on land and in water and its function is not well understood. It is unlikely to serve a territorial function, as the animals only establish territories in the water. They may be used as trails between the water and grazing areas. 5, 51, 52 yawning serves as a threat display. When fighting, bulls use their incisors to block each other's attacks and their large canines as offensive weapons. 259, 260 when hippos become overpopulated or a habitat shrinks. 
Bulls sometimes attempt infanticide, but this behavior is not common under normal conditions. Cows reach sexual maturity at 5 to 6 years of age and have a gestation period of 8 months. A study of endocrine systems revealed cows may begin puberty at as early as 3 or 4 years. Males reach maturity at around 7.5 years. Both conceptions and births are highest during the wet season. Male hippo always have mobile spermatozoa and can breed year-round. 59, 61, 66 after becoming pregnant, a female hippo will typically not begin ovulation again for 17 months. Hippos mate in the water, with the cow remaining under the surface, 63 her head emerging periodically to draw breath. Cows give birth in seclusion and return within 10 to 14 days. Calves are born on land or shallow water weighing on average 50 kilograms and at an average length of around 127 centimeters. The female lies on her side when nursing, which can occur under water or on land. The young are carried on their mother's backs in deep water. Mother hippos are very protective of the young, not allowing others to get too close. One cow was recorded protecting a calf's carcass after it had died. Calves may be temporarily kept in nurseries, guarded by one or more adults, and will play amongst themselves. Like many other large mammals, hippos are described as case strategists in this case typically producing just one large, well-developed infant every couple of years rather than many small. Poorly developed young several times per year, as is common among small mammals such as rodents. Calves no longer need to suckle when they are a year old. <laughs>